All right, guys, BLM here, back with a new video. In this video, I'll be talking about who I personally think would be cast on a season of Survivor Legends. Now, a Legend season is something that gets mentioned a lot by the fan base, and while season 40 is going to be an all-winner season, I would not be surprised if Jeff Probst originally wanted a Legends-esque season for 40 instead. Now, I will be talking about who I would have expected to be cast on Survivor 40, if it was a legend season. Again, these aren't really my personal choices. This is more so who I think production would bring back and who the contestants themselves want to come back. So if either of those don't qualify, those people won't be on this list. I should also mention that to me for this legend season, I would expect these players to have at least won their season or have played multiple times by this point in Survivor history. So the way I'm gonna structure this video is that we're gonna go through every season in chronological order and along the way, I'll talk about who I thought were contenders and the people who I ended up picking for the cast. So obviously we're gonna be starting off with Survivor Borneo. And I feel like this is a tough season to bring back people from. There is the obvious person in Richard Hatch, but considering he wasn't brought back for all winners, I don't think he would be brought back for this legend season. There were some other contenders for me, people like Jervis, uh, Jenna, Greg, but for me, I don't think they, either they don't make the cut or I don't think they would come back. So I didn't actually select anyone from Survivor Borneo. Something else I should also mention is that I don't feel like Survivor themselves feel this connection to Borneo as much as like what the general fan base does. The fact that there were more people from Australian Outback on All Stars than from Borneo, the fact that there was no one from Borneo on Heroes vs. Villains, the fact that there's no one from Borneo on All Winners, like the fact that they keep on disregarding Borneo makes me kind of think that they don't really care enough to feel the need to bring someone back from Borneo, so I didn't end up selecting anyone from Borneo here. Now for the Australian bout back, we do have a good chunk of contenders here. I think Tina falls into a similar spot as Hatch where I would select her, but the fact that she wasn't picked for all winners makes it so that she more than likely wouldn't get picked here. Now Amber is on all winners, however, I'm not super confident they would bring her back for a just general legend season. Again, all winners is such a limited casting pool that I feel like they felt like they needed Amber back there. I think a lot of the reason why she's back is because of Boston Rob, and we'll get to Boston Rob a little bit later, but yeah, I don't think they would bring Amber back here. But the ones that I do think would make the cut, for me at least, would be Colby and Jerry. Now, once again, these two are obviously Survivor Legends, two of the biggest characters from the pre-All-Stars era, and they both have also returned for Heroes vs. Villains, and they both have expressed interest in playing again pretty recently. And both of them aren't too, too old to play again. They're both in their 40s. So I did put them on the cast. But something I should mention about this now, I didn't initially try to limit the amount of people per season, but with a legend season, it is pretty tough to do that as a lot of them have already played together. The basic example of this, especially with me breaking this sort of limit, is Heroes vs. Villains. I, mean, I feel like you can't do a true legend season without a good chunk of that cast. Now from Survivor Africa, I mean, I, again, a few contenders for me here were Lex and Tom. I thought they would be pretty strong contenders. I thought Ethan, obviously, as he is on the all-winner season. But I decided to take him out. Actually, he was on the cast initially. But yeah, I decided to take him out because I thought one Colby is a similar sort of archetype to Ethan. And also, I would rather have Colby back. I also didn't want to have too many winners on this cast, as then why not just have it be an all-winner season? So I did end up picking Colby over Ethan, though, to be fair... I do think I could fit in Ethan here and replace him with a couple people that I will talk about later. Now, I, I didn't include anyone from the next few seasons, actually. Um, Boston Rob, I already mentioned this, is someone that is on the all-winner season, but I'm not fully convinced that he would come back just for a general legend season. I think Boston Rob is someone who really wants a new experience on Survivor. And I think for him, an all-winner season is that. I don't think a legend season is that for him. Again, he's done Heroes vs. Villains. I don't think he really wants to play just a general all-star season ever again. So I didn't put Boss Rob on the cast. I would love to see Kathy back, but she hasn't been in the casting pool for a while. So I don't think she's really a contender there. Brian Heideck would be great, but obviously production hates him. Rob Sesternino would be great, but obviously he would say no. So with that, we are moving to the Pearl Islands, where there is, again, a pretty obvious choice in Johnny Fairplay, but he's ruined his relationship with production, so I don't think we'll ever see him back. 
But I do think, for one, I think Sandra is a lock. I think she's probably the biggest lock on the board for a Legend season. I, I, again, I don't see how you do it without Sandra. And to be honest, I don't see how you do any sort of massive all-star season without Sandra at this point. So I think Sandra's a lock. And I would also put Rupert on the cast as well. I mean, again, obviously he is a legend. While people have seemed to sour on him in recent years, I still love Rupert as a character. And I do think for a legend season, he would be a strong contender to be on. So I did end up putting him on the cast. But again, I think Rupert's one of these that I do think you could technically swap him out. I, I'm not fully sure how Survivor Production feels about Rupert right now after Blood vs. Water. The fact that he hasn't really been in the casting pool for Survivor or for like game changers or anything makes me kind of think that maybe they're done with Rupert. But I did end up putting him on this cast. Now, from Survivor Vanuatu, I don't feel like anyone would really be in the running there. But from Palau, I did want to put Tom and Ian on the cast, obviously. But the thing is, obviously, Tom, not in super great health, doesn't want to do anything with Survivor anymore anyway. So he's gone. And then Ian has said no every single time they ask him. But from the season, I do think they could get Stephanie LaGrosa. In a recent RJP interview, I believe she did mention that she wasn't opposed to playing again. And again, I think she's a pretty blatant Survivor legend. So I think she would be a good person for this cast. Now for Survivor Guatemala, I did actually decide to put Danny Boatwright on the cast. And while Danny has said in the past that she would only return for an all-winner season, she was in the running for Game Changers. So I don't think she's 100% solid on that anymore. And to have some older school players that weren't in Heroes vs. Villains that were also in the casting pool somewhat recently, I think Danny would be a good pick here. So I did put her on the cast. Now for Survivor Panama, where there are a few people that would probably be in consideration. I mean, Terry is someone that I would love to be on the cast, but to be honest, I don't think production would pick him over some other people in his archetype. So the only person I did put on the cast here was Suri. Suri is another, like, again, another legend that you can't really do a season like this without. I mean, I, I think she easily makes the cast. It's not even really a question. Now for Cook Islands, and I think this one's kind of tough. Again, Cook Islands has some heavy hitters on that cast. There's Yule, someone who is obviously on the all-winner season right now. But again, I'm not super confident he would come back for just a normal legend season. Ozzy's another one that I considered, but I do think production's pretty done with Ozzy. I think if, unless CBS forces them to put him on the cast like they did with Game Changers, I don't think he would pretty much ever be cast again. I would love to put Penner on the cast, but again, I don't think he's really ready to come back right now, considering all the stuff that's going on in his personal life. Candace doesn't really make the cut for me, but I did put Parvati on the cast. I, I do feel pretty confident at this point that Parvati would have been on Survivor 40 pretty much no matter what, as long as the theme permitted it. And the fact that she's another one of these like kind of blatant Survivor legends, I did end up putting her on the cast. Now, for the next few seasons, uh, again, I didn't really pick many people. I mean, Earl is someone who I would love on there. The problem is that, again, he wasn't in the all-winner season. And again, he had some stuff going on in his personal life. I don't think he would have made this season, obviously. And a similar thing goes for Todd, where he wasn't selected for all-winner, so he's not going to be on this season. Uh, James, Courtney, and Amanda are all people that were contenders. And even Eric, even Eric from Micronesia. I think they were all contenders for me, but didn't really end up making the cut. Though I could see like someone like Amanda being kind of an alternate for this cast. But now we're jumping all the way to Survivor Token Chains, where I didn't put JT on because of similar reasons. Again, uh, it was another winner that wasn't on the real all-winner season. But I do think Coach and Tyson are the ones I would consider here. For me, Coach is a lock. I feel like Coach wants to play again. He's an iconic character. I, I feel like there's no way I could do a season like this without Coach. But Tyson's a bit tougher for me. I mean, for him to fit in here, the fact that I already have so many people from Heroes vs. Villains, it's kind of tough to fit Tyson on this cast. And while I would like him on this cast, I did end up leaving him off. But again, he's one of these that, kind of like Ethan, where it's like, I wouldn't be upset if he was on this cast. And now for another stretch of seasons where there's very few picks for me. I mean, Samoa does have Russell Hance, who I think should be on a Legend season. But again, his relationship production has gone completely downhill. So I, it'll never happen. From Redemption Island, I did decide to put Andrea on the cast. Now, while I don't necessarily think of her as a legend, I don't think she's really done anything legendary to the game of Survivor, I do think she is someone that production really likes, and with her already being a three-time player, I could very likely see them bring her back for any future season that she would say yes to, that she would also fit the theme. And because I wanted to limit the number of winners on the cast, I did end up selecting Andrea to be on here. 
Now, after that, we do have some winners to talk about. We have people like Cochran, who didn't want to do all winners, so again, he's not going to do this. Then, uh, I did consider Sophie and Cam. Again, the problem is, and actually, let's just add Denise to this as well. Uh, the problem is, is that, again, I wanted to only have a certain amount of winners. I, I decided on six, three male, three female. And the thing is that they didn't make the cut. To be honest, you know, was like with Sophie, I don't feel like there's anything legendary about her outside of the fact that she won the game. Which is kind of similar to Danny, but at least Danny was from an older season, so that's why I didn't put Sophie. Kim, I feel like Kim is kind of of a similar archetype as Danny. And also I feel like Kim has never really expressed a lot of interest in playing again right away. So I did decide on Danny over Kim. To be honest, Denise could be on this cast. I, I wouldn't be opposed to Denise being on this cast. To be honest, there's someone else later on the cast that we'll talk about that I did select over Denise for the pure fact that that person wasn't a winner. But if I wasn't sticking true to this winner sort of thing, I think Denise would probably end up making this cast. But someone from Survivor Philippines that I did end up picking for this cast was Malcolm Freeberg. I think Malcolm at this point is pretty solid as a legendary figure. I think he's probably one of the more recent players I would consider a legendary figure of Survivor. And I think with his exit in Game Changers, I just don't see how they don't bring him back anytime soon. So I did put Malcolm on this cast. Now, let's move on to Blood versus Water, where this might be a controversial choice. And to be honest, it's not a choice that I personally would make, but I do think production would make it. And that is bringing back Brad Culpepper. Now, while he doesn't necessarily fit into this legendary status, I, I do think production would shoehorn him in there. Again, production loves Brad Culpepper. Obviously, he got a lot of screen time up until his boot in Blood versus Water. He was in the running for Second Chance. He was obviously on Game Changers. I would not be surprised if he got the call for Survivor 40 before they decided on the all winners theme. Again, I would rather have someone like Terry on the cast. I do think they would end up picking Brad over Terry. So I did end up putting Brad on the cast, but it's not really someone I would have liked to have on the cast over other people. Now, another consideration was Hayden. However, I felt like he was just better for a second chance sort of season, so I just left him out. Uh, I did also end up putting Sierra on the cast. I, I did th have some reservations as I don't know how willing she is to play again right now. I know she just had a kid not too, too long ago. But I do think she's definitely someone that production wouldn't mind having back. I think there is a debate for her having legendary status at this point. With her being a more recent sort of player, I did decide to end up putting her on the cast. Now for Survivor Kageon, I think probably the last like complete lock on the board for me is Tony Velachos. I mean, I, I don't see how you do a legend season at this point without Tony. I do think Tony's probably the most recent player that I can legitimately say is a legend. I mean, considering he is on all winners right now, I, I do think he would be in the running, obviously, for legends as well. I think the only thing about Tony is whether he would say yes or not. However, I feel like Tony is one of those people that... He would say, like, oh, I don't want to play again until you ask him to play again, and he says yes right away. I did consider Spencer, but Spencer clearly doesn't want to play again, so I didn't put him on. I did consider Sarah, but again, I don't really feel like she's as legendary of a figure to me yet. But I did end up putting Cass on the cast. And this is the one I'm probably the most unsure about. I think Cass and Sierra are the two that I'm the most unsure about on this cast. And to be honest... These final two spots for the females were a bit tough. I, I don't think there are as many locks on the board for the females as there were for the males. But I did end up putting Cass as the final female spot. But as I said before, I, I think you could swap her out for Denise. I think that's probably a good swap. And like with someone like Sierra, I think you could swap her out for like Amanda, I guess, or someone else. But I do think Cass has done enough in Survivor lore to become a quote-unquote legend. So now for Sam Wando, sir, we obviously have Jeremy. But again, I feel like Jeremy is one of these people that only said yes to Survivor 40 because it was an all-winner season. I don't think he would come back for a general, like, legend season. So I didn't put him on the cast. I didn't end up putting Kelly Wentworth on the cast because she just came out of playing Edge of Extinction. And I don't get the vibe from her that she wants to play again so quickly. However, I did include Natalie Anderson on the list. And she's someone that production clearly wants back. She was on the cast of Game Changers until she got a concussion. She won the game. I think there's an argument for her being a Survivor legend. So for me, she was a pretty easy lock on the board. And I believe she's actually the last female uh, that we'll be talking about here. So there's that. Now, I didn't select anyone from Worlds Apart, mostly because, well, Joe had just played, and to be honest, I don't really want to see Joe again, but then again, he probably would have been selected if he could have, but I don't think he would say yes anyway. 
Mike wasn't even selected for all winners. So again, he's not going to be on just a general legend season. So didn't have anyone from that. Co wrong. There were really only two that I ended up considering for the cast. Now, Aubrey, I didn't put on the cast because she just came out of Edge of Extinction. She doesn't really seem to want to play again. So there's that. But for Ty, I feel like this is a good spot for Ty to come back. While, again, him being a legend is questionable, I think for production, they like him enough. So I did end up selecting Ty to be on the cast, even though for me, again, it's a bit questionable. But again, I, I feel like they need more recent people. Why not have Ty there? And yeah, I mean, like now we're getting really recent. I feel like at this point, it's very tough to really distinguish who is a legend. Yeah, as many of these people haven't really had the opportunity to play again. But again, knowing CBS, they would want more recent players. So I did end up picking a few people from this sort of era. Now, I debated on David Wright. Uh, I, I didn't end up putting him on because right now he's working on Star Trek Lower Decks. So it's like more than likely he can't play anyway. And then also he just played. So yeah. Zeke, Zeke, someone who I think production would want back, but I don't think he wants to play again. So he's not going to be on there. Someone I did put on the cast, though, that I know a lot of people don't want on the cast, but I mean, I think he would make the cast. And that is Ben Drebergen. I, I think production just loves Ben, right? I, I think, again, like Brad Culpepper, I think they would just shoehorn him in there. To be fair to Ben, his, again, his win is very unique. I, I think he is someone that down the road, I think he could be looked at as a legendary figure. But as of right now, I think he's definitely not a legend, but I, I could definitely see production bringing him back. I did consider Chrissy, but again, I feel like Chrissy kind of similar to someone like Sarah. I just don't feel like they have an iconic enough moment to be on a legend season. I don't feel like there's anything from her that like screams out to me. Yeah, she needs to be here. But again, I wouldn't be opposed to switching her out for like someone like Cass or even Sierra. But I, I do feel like those two are definitely more legendary figures than Chrissy is though. And now for the final two spots, um, I decided to give them to two people who I wouldn't necessarily call legends yet, but I do think have a pretty legendary moment, and that is Wendell and Dominic. So I did stretch my criteria a bit here for Dominic, as he is a non-winning one-time player, but I do think Dominic is obviously looked at as one of the best non-winners of the game. The fact that he got a tie vote at the very end of the game, I think that was enough for me to lean towards putting him on the cast. But I did like this dynamic of having both Wendell and Dominic on the same cast once again, even though they would probably go out early, but whatever. So there we go. That's pretty much everyone that I considered. So essentially the cast that I selected for Survivor Legends was Colby Donaldson, Jerry Manthe, Rupert Bonham, Sandra Diaz Twine, Stephanie LaGrosa, Danny Boatwright, Sari Fields, Poverty Shallow, Coach Wade, Andrew Belke, Malcolm Freeberg, Brad Culpepper, Sierra Easton, Tony Velachos, Cass McQuillan, Nally Anderson, Ty Trang, Ben Drebergen, Wendell Holland, and Dominic Abate. So yeah, that's my prediction for what a Survivor Legends season would be if they were to do it right now. I, I do think there's some interesting dynamics here. I, I think that obviously you still have the Colby and Jerry stuff. You have Rupert and Sandra still. You have Stephanie and Danny. I think that could be fun. Sri and Parvati on the same cast. Andrea and Malcolm on the same cast together again. Tony and Cass are together again. Wendell and Dominic, as I mentioned before. I think there's some interesting dynamics here, though. I think this exercise has ma really made me realize I don't want a legend season. I don't really feel like it's something that I'm super interested in, like having all these people that are considered legends. I just don't really feel like that's something that interests me right now, especially like looking at who was even available to be cast. I just feel like it's a casting pool that is kind of limited. But then again, I thought the same thing of all winners and we'll see how that turns out. But I'm not super interested in a legend season. For me, I would rather prefer something like a second chance or even like a like an old school versus new school or like survivor rivals or something. But like legends itself, it's just not something that really interests me. And I feel like a lot of that also comes from the fact that a lot of these people have played together already. Again, just on this cast, there are eight people from Heroes vs. Villains. There are six people from Game Changers. I mean, it's just so much collusion within this cast that I just don't think it would be that fun. And while obviously I could have changed my criteria for the casting pool, I feel like that lessens the point of having a legend season. It's like at that point, why not just have a general all-star season? So yeah, that's the video. I, I think I might try to do a similar sort of video for Second Chance. I think that could be fun. Maybe even expand beyond that to something like Old School versus New School or whatever. But that's the video. That's my cast for Survivor Legends. So yeah, thank you for watching.